China has just made a breakthrough that could reshape global politics and the semiconductor industry. The country has developed a new type of laser source that produces 193 nanometer ultraviolet light, the same wavelength used in high-end chip manufacturing. Normally, only a few Western companies like ASML and Cyma make these lasers, and most of this technology is restricted from being sold to China. But now China has found its own path, one that could eventually allow it to make 5 nanometers and even 3 nanometers chips at a much lower cost. This development is sending shockwaves through Washington, Brussels, and Tokyo because it shows that China is finding new ways to bypass Western controls. To understand why this is so important, we have to remember how critical chips have become in modern geopolitics. Chips run smartphones, AI systems, military equipment, satellites, and supercomputers. Control over chip technology equals global influence. For years, the US and its allies controlled the most advanced chip-making tools, especially lithography machines, systems that use powerful lasers to print microscopic circuits on silicon wafers. China was blocked from buying the most advanced tools, especially EUV lithography machines, which are necessary for leading-edge chips like 3 nanometers processors. But instead of staying dependent, China has pushed aggressively to develop its own technology. The new laser breakthrough is one of the clearest signs of this strategy working. What China has built is a solid-state laser that produces coherent 193 nanometer light. Traditionally, this is done using gas-based excimer lasers, which require rare gases like argon and fluorine, constant maintenance, and very high power. These systems are expensive and China struggled to buy them due to export restrictions. Instead of copying the Western method, Chinese scientists created something entirely different. Their system starts with a high-power crystal amplifier. The beam is split, each part is converted into new wavelengths, and then both beams are combined to produce exactly 193 nanometers. This avoids relying on rare gases and reduces the complexity of the system. China's prototype currently produces 70 milliwatts of UV power, 6,000 pulses per second, and a very narrow wavelength width, which is required for precise chip printing. While these numbers are far from commercial levels, they are enough to prove that China is on the right track. The global political impact of this innovation is huge. First, China is reducing its dependence on Western technology. For years, the US tried to slow China's chip development by cutting off access to tools and equipment. By developing its own alternatives, China reduces the power of these sanctions. Beijing can now move forward even without Western cooperation. Second, ASML faces a new kind of competition. China's method does not copy ASML's technology, it bypasses it entirely. If China manages to scale this up, Western companies may lose part of the technological advantage they have held for decades. Another major consequence is cost. EUV machines from ASML cost over $200 million each, and even DUV systems are extremely expensive. China's new solid-state laser could potentially be used to build cheaper lithography machines that require less energy, less maintenance, and no rare gases. If China can produce advanced chips at one-third the cost, many developing nations may prefer Chinese equipment. This would give China greater influence across global markets, especially in Asia and Africa. There is also a scientific impact. Right now, the most advanced chips, like those used by Apple, NVIDIA, and AMD, are made with EUV lithography. China cannot buy EUV machines. But China has been developing better DUV multi-patterning techniques, which use multiple exposures to create extremely fine structures. If China can improve its new 193 nanometers laser and combine it with advanced patterning methods, it could produce 5 nanometers and even 3 nm class chips without EUV. These chips may not match EUV perfection, but they would be powerful enough for AI, telecom, and defense. This is one of the reasons Western governments are paying very close attention. Of course, China still faces major challenges. The current laser power is too low for mass production. 
Commercial lithography systems use thousands of times more power. The frequency of the pulses must also be increased. And industrialization, turning a lab innovation into a stable, reliable commercial product, is extremely difficult. But the world has already seen how quickly China can close technological gaps. China managed to produce 7 nanometers and even 5 nm class chips without access to EUV machines, proving that motivated engineering teams can overcome the toughest restrictions. What this new laser really represents is a shift in strategy. Instead of fighting to get Western technology, China is creating its own. This breakthrough sends a clear message, China is not waiting for permission. It is building its own tools, its own supply chain, and its own path toward technological independence. If China successfully scales this new laser technology, it could reduce ASML's dominance, weaken U.S. export controls, lower the cost of chip manufacturing, and shift the global semiconductor power balance. In the bigger picture, this is not just a scientific achievement but a political statement. It shows that China is not playing defense in the chip war, it is building alternative solutions and rewriting the rules. The global tech race is entering a new chapter, and breakthroughs like this prove that the competition is far from over. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss out on major updates from around the world of technology and innovation. Today's story has shaken the entire tech world. The European Unified Patent Court has officially ruled that the American company Netgear Incorporated violated Huawei's Wi-Fi 6 patents by using its technology without paying any licensing fees. This decision marks a historic moment in global patent law and has massive implications for Western tech giants. The conflict started when Huawei Technologies, China's leading telecommunications company, filed a lawsuit against Netgear Inc., one of the biggest American network equipment manufacturers. Huawei accused Netgear of using its Wi-Fi 6 standard essential patent identified as EP361189, without obtaining legal authorization. This particular patent covers key methods for information transmission and wireless network devices, forming the backbone of Wi-Fi 6 technology, the standard that delivers faster and more stable connections worldwide. After months of legal examination, the European Unified Patent Court concluded that Huawei's claims were completely valid. The court found that Netgear had indeed used Huawei's patented technology without a license, directly violating international patent laws and fair business practices. The court's ruling was tough and uncompromising. It ordered that all Netgear products containing Huawei's Wi-Fi 6 technology 